Is it just me or do the guidelines of weight loss seem to change as frequently as Apple releases new devices? Which foods to eat, how to exercise, and be sure to purchase this bottle of the Holy Grail for weight loss. They just keep rolling in. In order to achieve our desired health and weight goals, let's bring on simplicity and remove the nonsensical stuff and dispel six myths we categorically do not need to do in order to lose weight. Hey, health warriors, Tracy here, sharing easy ways you can eat, move, and live a life of mental and physical wellness over 40 50 and beyond okay so the first thing that you do not need for sustainable weight loss is an appointment where your health care provider provides you with a diagnosis that could lead to some type of chronic illness in all transparency each time in january i would say i would do better or at the peak of spring then i would do things a little differently to get rid of excess weight this was my version of waiting for the doctor to diagnose me before creating change so no you do not need a major or minor health scare to prepare Propel you to lose weight. How do you say start now without saying start now? Another common unnecessary item we do not need in order to lose weight is the financial and time expense to search and purchase the perfect protein powder. Protein powders are good supplemental optional food items. They can infuse oatmeal and baked goods with unique flavors but are not quite as filling as biting into a piece of juicy protein and chewing on it and appreciating the subtle blends and spices that were utilized in this preparation. I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. Even when I would take my protein shakes and I would add in fiber and extra fat and all of that goodness, my mental hunger would still spiral out of control. I can eat a four ounce piece of grilled chicken thighs, I like the, the thighs over the breast, and feel satisfied with my mind not wandering about what else is in the kitchen, the fridge, or the cabinets. Ditching or not using your beloved protein powder will not undo your weight loss efforts. Have you heard of it? Intermittent fasting and its tremendous benefits on weight loss. For over a year, I would forego breakfast. I was an I effort, intermittent faster. Then by happenstance, I started eating breakfast and I noticed that I was still losing the same one to two pounds of weight per week. The amount of weight recommended to lose for health and sustainability. My energy levels, focus, mood, and hormone profile, cause I get my blood work checked often. They all increase after getting back into the habit of eating breakfast. Continue intermittent fasting if it helps you, but it's not really necessary if all you're trying to do is lose weight. There are other ways to lose weight and still eat. Let me come on and get out your kitchen and shift our attention towards other areas that need not be in order for weight loss to happen. After scrolling through social media, you can start to feel as though you need to buy pricey coordinating fitness clothes in order to lose weight. I would gladly spend $100 on a pair of matching leggings and a bralette if merely showing up cute was the secret to losing weight. But it isn't. To work out, I pretty much grab anything. Hello Nike, meet Adidas. And guess what? I still lost weight and changed my body. Matching training gear may boost our self-esteem and there's nothing wrong with that. Do the things that you need to do in order to feel good about you, but don't expect it to help you lose weight. Weight loss involves some form of energy exchange where we use more energy than we consume. Therefore, it is not necessary to pay $20 or upwards of $100 a month for a gym membership in order to lose weight if you don't have that available to you. Using a progressive load-based exercise routine, you can fully support your goals for weight loss. Eat well, stay active. Active.